Now we're going to talk about the menus on your CPAP. Um, there's a couple of different menus. This is kind of your main screen that you'll see here. You've got two options. Um, my options, as you can see, and then sleep report. When you hit stop, your sleep report pulls up automatically. And again, I think I've showed you this a couple of times, but I'm going to wake the machine back up here just by pressing the button. Um, let's go into the sleep report first. You'll notice as I twist it up and down, whatever's highlighted in blue is where you're going to get into. If I click on this, it's going to tell you, again, kind of that quick snapshot of how you did the previous night. But let's go farther down on this. Um, you'll notice as I scroll down here, it moves that up. Right here, My Air, that's an app you can get for your machine. And usually we'll talk about that when we uh, get you set up on your machine. And, and I can send you an, an invitation via email to get you that app if you prefer. Um, next piece here is a period. And you can change this if you click on it. You've got anywhere from a day clear to a year. And this is going to give you a bunch of different clinical data below this. Um, as we scroll down usage data on here, and again, this will help with your usage and your compliance for insurance um, pressure. Uh, we know the pressure right now, I've got this set from a 6 to 16, but this is going to give us the 95th percentile pressure. So if you're on an auto set, that can vary on what that pressure is. Next one down is your leak. So above, we had a smiley, frowny face on the seal. But this tells us uh, how many liters per minute uh, leak exactly. And typically we want to keep that below 24 liters a minute. Uh, next one down is your AHI. And that's how many events per hour you have. But if I scroll down, it splits it out into multiple, uh, multiple different parts of that AHI. So what types of events you're having. And we're at the bottom there. So if I press the home button, we're back out. Now let's go into the My Options menu. If you click on it, you've got your ramp time. So that's how long it's gonna to take to go from a lower pressure to a higher pressure. And you can twist that, click that on. It goes in 10 minute, or I'm sorry, five minute increments um, and go, can go to auto. <clears throat> so let's say for example, you're starting out at a pressure of six, but you wanna start out at a pressure of five, um, and have it take 10 minutes to work up to the six. That's what the ramp would be for. Um, and that's a comfort setting for you. Feel free to change that where you need to be. Um, humidity settings, we'll go over those in just a little bit because that, that can be a little tricky in finding the right humidity settings for you. Um, as we scroll down, uh, smart start. Uh, usually I leave that off. So the, the uh, theory behind smart start is when you breathe into the machine, it should start up by itself. And sometimes it works really well, sometimes it can be quirky. So usually I'll leave that off to start out with, but feel free to turn it on. Again, you just highlight anything here, click on it, go wherever you want it to go here. I'm gonna turn it on for, for just uh, uh, showing you sake. Um, and then next one down is the type of mask you're using. So that mask right now is set to pillows, but you have three options. You've got uh, nasal, full face, and pillows. And that's mostly for intentional leaks. So kind of what, what I see on my end as far as the reports go. Um, if you don't have that in the, the right mask, it's not going to harm your therapy a lot. It uh, doesn't change it a, a lot. Um, mask... Uh, uh, run mask fit function, what that does is it gives you a, let's, uh, let me go back to the 6 to 16 settings. Let's say you start your, your mask out at a 6, um, or start your pressure at a 6, and you've got your mask set to a pressure of 6. Well, a lot of times as your pressure goes up, as your airway closes off, let's say it goes up to a 10, sometimes that mask, it's, it's fit for a 6, Sometimes it may start to leak for a 10. So if you do a run mask fit function here, and you'll hear the tube go, and you'll see the see it go frowny for just a minute. Um, it's but the the advantage of it's going to give you a blast at your 95th percentile pressure. So let's say that was a 10, it gives you a blast at a 10 here, so you can snug the mask down at a 10, and then you can just deselect 
that and then that would be afterwards you just hit your start button if you want to start your therapy so that can be very helpful if you have a wide range of auto or um, if you're a patient with uh, with facial hair um, sometimes that can can uh, get a little tricky as well but that'll tell you how well you're sealed up run warm up is something you can use but you don't have to what it does is it starts warming the humidifier before you turn your pressure on so the advantage of this is the first little bit of therapy you get is a lot more humidified. Now you don't have to use this because anytime your, your machine is running, your pressure's on, your humidifier's also warming. Um, but I do use this function if I'm ever dealing with any sinus issues um, or allergies. It helps just uh, clear those up. Next, we've got airplane mode on there. I'd always leave that off. The advantage of that, or what that does, is it's gonna leave your modem on. So it's a lot like your cell phone. If your airplane mode is on, your phone won't call out. So I'd always leave that airplane mode off. And then the last one is about, and it's software versions, serial number stuff you don't have a lot of, you probably won't care too much about. Um, kind of more for manufacturer and and your uh, company. Um, then I'm going to go back here. Now I'm going to scroll up to um, your humidity settings here. And so with the humidity settings, uh, and, and I say humidity setting, it's climate control is the way the manufacturer um, sets that. But if I click on that, you have an option for auto. And then your tube temperature can be auto as well. Um, so the advantage of auto on the climate control is it's going to help keep condensation out of the tubing. Um, condensation is not generally dangerous, but it can be really obnoxious. Um, as you're, if you go to sleep and you wake up two, three hours uh, into your therapy, you may hear some gurgling and popping. It sounds a lot like uh, a coffee maker making coffee, something to that effect. Um, so the advantage of auto is it's going to keep condensation out of the tubing. Typically around 65 degrees of room temperature is where I see this being beneficial typically. So if your room is, is cooler, is 65 or cooler, I'd usually leave that on auto and it just is going to help you keep condensation out of the tubing. Um, if it is uh, warmer than 65 degrees, you can set this to manual. And the advantage of manual is, is you have more flexibility in your humidity settings. Um, now you notice I put it on manual and you have the tube temperature, which you can change. And if this is set to manual, the climate control, the tube temperature is to help you keep condensation out of the tubing. Um, and then the humidity level, you notice I can go anywhere from a, a zero to an eight. Um, Humidity level is how hot this heating plate gets. So the hotter that heating plate gets, the faster the evaporation rate. And then again, that's more humidity for you. Um, and the tube temperature is just going to keep condensation out of that tubing. So if you're getting dry, I would increase the humidity level. You can go clear up to an 8 if you want. Um, but if you start to get water in the tubing, go up on the tube temperature. For a lot of folks, that's a little counterintuitive. But um, if you go up on humidity, also do a, maybe a degree or two on your tube temperature just to keep the water out of the tubing. That's basically it for the AirSense 10. Um, feel free to, to look through these videos um, and, and uh, follow along and, and kind of go over these things. Thank you very much.